and it's that time of the week where we get to learn a lesson from Katie Blake. This week in Katie Science Lab, Katie is teaching us how to make salt crystal leaves. Good. Okay. We're curious. I, yes, you probably are. And I, we've set the bar really high here. We've, you know, there's been, not explosions, but there's been some pretty active stuff happening the past couple of weeks. This is a bit more tame. This is really good for the younger kiddos. They can kind of help you out a little bit. And it's just kind of nice and pretty and, and almost kind of seasonal what we're doing here. So I do want to show you, i got to get my gloves off, the finished product. I, I'm going to be honest. I did three rounds of making these salt crystal leaves. So you see how they look kind of oh, yeah. like... So it kind of so it looks like a pipe cleaner right? for a reason because the crystals <laughs> developed on the yes, pipe cleaner. Yes, on the pipe cleaner. Okay. Yeah, you can do this with real leaves. I couldn't find any good leaves, but maybe in another few weeks or so, right. if you have some nice leaves in your backyard, you can do you do it with this. And yeah, the the idea is right that we get the salt on here and it makes it look like there's like frost on it or something. And it and it's kind of pretty. Um, and again, there's a lot of room for creativity here. So here's what you're going to need. You are going to need a big container of salt. I actually wound up going through almost two containers of salt. You'll also need some pipe cleaners or fall leaves, clothespins or yarn, um, and some mason jars. So I did start off using the mason jar method. So what you're gonna do, and obviously mine are already done, but you're gonna boil water. So you want a cup of water to boil. Once it starts to boil, take it away from the heat, and then you're gonna put in a lot of salt. I think I wound up putting in almost a whole container of salt here. Um, and the more salt, the better. The reason I had to do this over a few times is because I didn't use enough salt the first time. And mm -hmm. so the salt didn't stick to my, didn't stick to my pipe cleaner. So the more salt, the better. And then you can do this a few different ways. I did try the the mason jar way to where you would make your leaf out of pipe cleaners and a lot of room for the kiddos to pick what color they want, what shape they want, um, all that kind of stuff. And then you would pour the hot salt water, so parents need to help pour the hot water into the mason jar, and then you would drop the drop the leaf down into the jar. And this is where the clothespins come in because then you would kind of, you would get it to stay on top, you would put it in and then you would fasten it to the top of the jar so that it just kind of sits in there. And then you mm -hmm. want to put it in a bright, sunny place, leave it for a day, maybe even two days, and then you'll have, you'll have this. But I think what worked better for me was getting like a big, flat, like casserole tray type of thing. Okay. And putting the leaves in there flat. Flat versus like hanging in a row. vertical ah. in the mason jar. Yes, and then I poured a thin layer of the, the hot salt water over them. Right. I let them sit for about a day. And then I took them out and then I set them outside in the sunshine for a few hours and that kind of helped to dry them out and that's what really gave it, there's even some salt still on here, but that's what kind of <laughs> gave them the, the kind of crystallized, the crystallized look. So sure. no explosions here, no. but this is something fun um, that the kids I think will think these are pretty and you can yeah. hang, hang them up for the whole season and they'll last. And this is also a good opportunity if it doesn't work for you the first time, like what happened to me, um, kind of use the scientific method, make a hypothesis. And then if it didn't work out, you know, ask the kiddos why they think it didn't work and what you should do different the next time. So this was, this was fun. Again, these are just kind of pretty and cute and you can hang them up and we'll get some fall foliage in here. Um, a little bit early this season. Yeah, so. they're very nice and decorative, and it'll also uh, teach a lesson on patience because you have to wait. For this is yes. a multi-day process. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's hard to show this in real time because it takes so long for it to actually yes. happen. Yes. And a footnote, obviously, you want mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, somebody's help yes. because we're involved with uh, boiling water here. Yes, definitely need the adult supervision for this, but uh, it is almost October. And we've got our next few weeks planned out of KD Science Lab, and things are going to get spooky and kooky, and we are very excited. But did, I thought did this you say was... spooky and kooky spooky and <laughs> at kooky. the same time. <laughs> kooky and kooky, but I, this was a nice kind of into September. Some nice little, some very nice. Yeah, here. very pretty. Cool. All, All right. right, thank you, Katie. You're welcome.